Hey guys, and welcome back to Live Love Lang, where we teach you how to learn multiple languages and how to go to abroad. It's Teresa, and today we've got a super sexy video teaching vocabulary and phrases and grammar from Itemiye Want. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Girl, 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 girl. We know that Taemin got us. He got us today, ladies and gentlemen. He slayed me. I don't know about you, but he slayed me. He been slaying me out here since 2008, and he is back again. Interesting thing about this video. I don't know what you guys thought, but it. I feel like the video itself is not what excited me about this release. What really got me were the lyrics. So how could I resist then to study Korean with the lyrics and to tell you guys more about the phrasing? It was actually really impressive to me because there were a lot of things that I didn't know and I didn't understand, as well as things that I had to like pull out of my knowledge from living in church and speaking Korean in church. Respect to the writers, although it is pretty, I don't know. This is not a review video, so I guess I will stop the rambling here. Yeah. What I'm gonna do in this video is I am going to give you three useful vocabulary words that can, you know, be very versatile and lots of different useful phrases from this song. Then I'm gonna teach you five phrases and then I am going to teach you a grammar structure that's basically in almost every single line of the song. <laughs> oh, oh. So the first word is 관능. 관능 is a word that's basically 육체적인 것, meaning things that regard your flesh, your fleshly body. In a very non-taken out of context way, you can say it's like your natural instincts, your bodily functions and cravings and these kind of things. On Naver they list it as 육체적인 기능, which means the things that you can do from like your abilities of the flesh. But here, that is not what Taemin means. <laughs> 관능 also means fleshly sensations, which means things like craving sexual desire and, you know, these kind of spicy things. <laughs> Let me read you the exact lyrics. Taemin says, 관능석 무작 위로 펴져가. 관능석 무작 위로 펴져가. And Pyojaga is actually my second one, so... Basically, Taemin is saying that through your physical desires, he's spreading his, his attraction through your body. A useful phrase that can come out of this... Well, useful. I hope it'll be useful. 관능을 만족시키다. 관능을 만족시켜요. 만족 means to be satisfied with something, satisfaction. And 만족시켜, 만족, 만족시키다 means to make sure or to make yourself feel satisfied or to make sure that you can be satisfied. And of course, like I said, 관능 is like sexual desire or fleshly desires. 관능을 만족시키다 means to satisfy one's sexual desire. Or better said, to satisfy one's carnal desire. Another way you can use this is 관능적인 여자 관능적인 여자 관능적인 여자 Now you may be wondering, what is a carnal desire or a fleshly woman? Well, according to the Korean language, a 관능적인 여자 is a voluptuous, glamorous woman. <laughs> Are you a 관능적인 여자? Because I'm a 관능적인 여자. The second word I'm going to teach you is also from the same line, and that is 퍼지다. 퍼지다. 퍼져. 퍼지다. So 퍼지다, um, spelled with the aspirated P, means to spread. 말을 퍼지다. 말을 퍼지다. 말 means words or speaking, so 말을 퍼지다 is for like rumors to spread or like words to travel. For example, in Jamaica, 말 진짜 빨리 퍼져. <laughs> the second one is 낭소리 퍼지다. 낭소리 퍼지다. 
낭설이 보지다. Now this is very similar to 말 보지다, but I figured that um, it would be good to give you this new word 낭설, uh, which which basically means rumors. So 낭설 보지다. Next one is a little bit more formal, and you can probably use it, uh, you know, in less casual situations like the last couple of phrases I told you, um, which is 천국에 퍼져 있다. 천국에 퍼져 있다. So this is talking about some kind of infrastructure. So for example, if I'm talking about like like public transportation, 열차, trains, uh, in Japan and in Korea, the train system is spread out everywhere, is very well distributed among the entire country. I can say 전국에 잘 퍼져 있습니다. 전국에 잘 퍼져 있습니다. And the last word that can be used in lots of different ways that I'm going to teach you today is 유혹. 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 유혹 means temptation. Now, as you can tell, Taemin is really driving that 유혹 in. <laughs> One thing that you could use this for is 유혹에 지다. 유혹에 지다. So 지다 means to lose. So 유혹에 지다 means to lose to temptation or to give in to temptation. Another good one is 유혹과 싸우다. 유혹과 싸우다. Which means to fight with temptation, to battle with temptation. And one that's a little bit more out of context but still a good one to know is 바다의 유혹. Meaning the lure of the sea. 바다의 유혹. Have you ever really sat on the beach and you just thought, damn, it's pulling me in like a siren, you know? So that is 바다의 유혹. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you these five different phrases that appear in the song and that maybe you will understand a little better learning it with me. The first one is from the very first uh, line, I think, and that is 목이 타는 듯해. 목 means your neck. And tada means to burn. So mogi tada means you're thirsty, but in a very thick, in a very serious sense. So I mean, regularly when you would say, "Oh, I'm thirsty," you'd say mogi malla, mog malayo, mogi malayo, mogi mogi marda. But in this case, you're saying you're quenched, and that is mogi tada. So then tada. Dutte means that it's basically grammar to say it's as if you're thirsting for water in a oasis. You know, like he's trying to be poetic. So, 목이 타는 듯해. 목이 타는 듯해. Its next one is 정의를 내리다. 정의를 정의를 내리다. 정의를 내리다. 정의를 내려 means to give a definition. I mention this one because it's not quite common. Usually, you would you would use the word "dut" "dut" for meaning or "imi" "imi" for meaning. But both of these are not used here. It's not as poetic. It's too literal. So now we're using "chongi." <laughs> okay. So "chongi" also means definition, and "nerida" means to let down. But in this case, it's to give. To bestow a definition to a certain word, so Taemin is talking about being hot. So he's trying to redefine the definition of the word hot, which I think he has. So he's 정의를 내리고 있어요. Next one is 부드러운 흐림. 부드러운 흐림. So this one's a little bit easier. Um, like these are very very common words. So 흐르다 means to flow. A flow. So my arms are 흐르는 거야. 흐르다. 부드럽다 means to be soft. Soft. So 부드러운 흐름 means a soft flow, a tender flow. It's one of those really teasing phrases. 부드러운 흐름. The next is uh, quite complicated, but I think a really good word to know. If you didn't know, Temin is a Roman Catholic, so I don't know if this has anything to do with it. Probably not, considering the the nature of the song. But he uses the frame 금단의 사과. 금단의 사과. 금단 means forbidden, and 사과, as you may know, means apple. So 금단의 사과 means the forbidden apple, like from Adam and Eve. 
Uh, the actual phrase that they use in the Bible, in the Korean Bible, is 금단의 열매. And 열매 is kind, is kind of the word for, like, fruits of the land. So nuts and uh, berries and fruits, all of these things are considered 열매. So, yes, 금단의 열매. 금단의 사과. Okay, the last one I'd like to teach you is 애태우다. 애태우다 means to worry over someone or to be fussy over someone or to care about someone in a, you know, overbearing or like very motherly kind of way. You know, like making a fuss over your little baby. That's 애태우다. 애태우다. So something, somebody, 애태우다. 나는, 나는 내 남동생을 애태우다. So Taemin says he's gonna make you worry about him. He's gonna make you... Get concerned over him, blah blah blah. So, Eteuge Teda. The last is to teach you the grammar. Now, every single line in this song is something something. Ke Teda or Ke Hada. And I'm going to remind you and kind of teach you what this is, and especially in the context of this song. Now, as usual, I always recommend Talk to Me in Korean, so I will link there. Um, their explanation for this uh, for this grammar structure below if you want a more in-detailed, in-depth thing. And no, this is not sponsored, I just love them. So you take a verb, you drop off the ta, and you add ke, and then tweda or hada. So um, basically it means to be made a certain way, to become a certain way. So for example, if I want to say, I was watching TV, right? And I saw an advertisement for a cool pen because i watched that i ended up i was made to want that pen so i would say in korean 그게 원하게 됐어요 원하게 됐어요 so 됐다 means to become so i became want <laughs> i started to want it because of something cause and effect so and in this case, in this song, of course, Taemin is a huge ass temptation, a huge ass flipping temptation, who is here making all of us uncomfortable and yearning and 타는 듯해, 먹이 타는 듯해, right? He's making us want him, and that is basically why every single line ends in 하게 되다 or 하게 하다, which is basically the same thing. It's teda if it's a state, like a state of being, like I do want this as a state, I am hungry, a state, um, you know, like pego puge testoyo. Pego puge testoyo. It's a state of being. And it's hada if he's describing something you would be doing, like pajo dulgo shipke hal. So it's like hal koda, you know, a shorting of that. So you, I make you want to go deeper so he's describing the action that you would do and that is why you use hada so if you want more specific stuff on that then i will once again i'm linking the talk to me in korean grammar structure check it out so that's what this song is all about and if you have any questions for me please leave me a comment down below if you have like comments on the music video do that as well so that i can fangirl with you guys you can also hit me up on instagram um and ask me d like ask me questions on korean in my dm i don't have to tell you what to do on the youtubes anymore if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more content like this one then make sure to press the subscribe button down below and i will see you in the next video okay bye Thank you.